Welcome everyone to lecture number 45. Here we're doing continuing chemistry part three and in particular we're going to continue our discussion of ionic bonds and introduce polyatomic ions. Okay so let's review from the last time. We're going to do a few uh, review problems. Remember, uh, uh, if you give electrons, that's what we call metals. They're the givers. They produce positive ions, cations. Things that take electrons, we said, are nonmetals. They're anions. Okay, and remember, we're only doing the A groups, just the A groups. Okay, uh, group 1A wants to give one electron, so it wants to be plus one, 2A, plus two, 3A, plus three, right? And then we skip to 4A wants to take four electrons, 5A needs three electrons, etc. 6A, 7A, minus one, the halogens, group 8A, the uh, ideal gases, the uh, uh, noble gases do not need anything and do not interact. So metals are givers, non-metals are takers. So let's do some practice problems. Remember, the way we name ionic bonds is we take the root of the cation, uh, take the uh, name of the cation, add that to the root of the anion, the negative ion, and add the ending IDE. Okay, so let's look at sodium nitride. Sodium, if you look in your periodic table, which you should have, is in group 1A, so it wants to give one electron. Nitrogen in group 5A needs three electrons. Gives one, needs three. So it's going to take three sodiums to make one nitrogen happy. So this should be Na3, N, just N. And I'm going to put the numbers up here, the oxidation numbers, right? This was uh, plus one, right? And this was minus three. Okay. So three times one is three, and you could put a one here, which really doesn't exist. One times minus three is minus three, so three minus three is zero. All right, so sodium has a charge of plus one, need, it wants to give one electron. Nitrogen needs three electrons, so it takes three sodiums for one nitrogen. Now we can erase this stuff. Okay, the oxidation. Potassium, again, group 1A, so potassium wants to be plus one. Oxygen, group 6A, needs two electrons, minus two. Oxygen needs two electrons. Potassium can only give one electron. So it's going to take two potassiums to make one oxygen happy. Each potassium is going to give one electron, and oxygen needs two electrons. Okay, oxidation numbers I can take out. This is the formula for potassium oxide. Al oh, aluminum sulfide. Aluminum is in group 3A, wants to give three electrons. So the charge of aluminum wants to be plus three, plus three, sorry. Sulfur, group 6A, wants to have a charge of minus two. Give three electrons, but only needs two electrons. How can they get together? Well, if you take two aluminums, two aluminums give six electrons. And so three sulfurs would take six electrons. Give six, take six. So the formula, let's erase the oxidation numbers. The formula then for aluminum sulfide is Al2S3. Notice that your periodic table is your best friend here. Aluminum bromide. Once again, aluminum wants to be plus three. Bromine is in group seven the halogens, and so it needs only one electron. Aluminum's giving three, bromine only needs one, so one aluminum gives three, so it's gonna take three bromiums to make one aluminum happy. Once again, I'll erase the uh, oxidation number. So the formula for aluminum bromide is AlBr3. Okay, we'll do a couple more. It's not brain surgery, it's pretty easy. Uh, lithium phosphide, lithium group 1A, so it wants to give one electron, wants to be plus one. Phosphide, phosphorus is in group 5A. So it needs three electrons, okay? So P wants to be minus three, okay? Gives one electron, needs three electrons. So we need three lithiums for one phosphorus, okay? Li3P, lithium phosphide. 
Okay, strontium carbide, ide is the ending, right, for the single element. So carbon is in group 4A, needs four electrons. Strontium is in 2A, so it wants to give two electrons. So strontium wants to be plus two. Carbon wants to be minus four. Strontium gives two electrons, but carbon needs four electrons. So it's going to take two strontiums to make one carbon happy. Okay, once again, I will erase the oxidation numbers, and this is how it would appear. So the formula for strontium carbide is SR2C. Okay, finally, calcium fluoride. Calcium, again, group 2A, CA wants to give up two electrons. Fluoride. Fluorine is in group seven, needs one electron. So calcium gives two electrons, fluorine only needs one electron. So one calcium, you need two fluorines to take those two electrons because fluorine, each fluorine only takes one electron. Once again, I will erase the oxidation numbers, okay? So if you look, we have aluminum, single. Potassium, oxygen, nitrogen, sodium, those are monatomic ions. What does monatomic mean? One atom, monatomic. So now we'll talk about polyatomic. Okay, so polyatomic ions. First, we'll do a couple of uh, cations. Ammonium, NH4, has a charge of plus one. So ammonium is very much like the A group, 1A, has a charge of plus one. Okay? wants to give away electron. Hydronium, same thing. Hydronium is H3O, and it wants to give up an electron. Now we'll do the uh, anions, okay? The negative uh, uh, polyatomics, and you need to learn these. You need to learn these formulas and their charges, okay? All right, uh, nitrite, NO2, has a charge of minus one, okay? Needs one electron. Nitrate, NO3, needs one electron. So these are similar to the halogens, group seven. Sulfite, SO3, needs two electrons. Sulfate, SO4, needs two electrons. Phosphate needs three electrons. Cyanide, one electron, CN. Hydroxide, OH, needs one electron. Permanganate, MN, manganese, with four oxygens, needs one electron. Carbonate, CO3, needs two electrons. Chromate, CrO4, needs two electrons. Peroxide, O2, needs two electrons, okay? So when we put these together in, uh, 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 to form neutral molecules, we're gonna play the same game as we did with the monatomic uh, ions, okay? So polyatomic's really the same as monatomic, okay? So just watch, and let's see if we can do a couple. Strontium phosphate, okay? Strontium, remember, is plus two. How do I know strontium is plus two? Because it's in group 2A and wants to give two electrons away. Phosphate, if we look, phosphate is PO4. And we're going to put a parenthesis around that, minus three. So this is the same game we've been playing. Strontium wants to give two electrons. Phosphate, phosphate, not phosphite. Phosphate, the polyatomic, needs three electrons. So if we take three strontiums and two phosphates, that gives six electrons. This takes six electrons. Once again, I will erase the oxidation numbers. So the formula for strontium phosphate, SR3, PO4. And notice I have a two outside the parenthesis because that means I have two of these polyatomic ions, two of them. So two of these molecules of these ions has two phosphorus and how many? Two times four is eight oxygens, okay? So that's why that parenthesis is around there and there's a two. Okie doke. Let's keep going. I'm gonna erase this stuff. So we have some room. Okie doke. Let's keep going. Aluminum cyanide. Aluminum. Remember, plus three, it's in group 3A. Aluminum, plus three. Cyanide needs one electron. Gives three electron, needs one electron. So we take one of these and three of these. So that gives three electrons. This takes three electrons. Once again, we can 
take away the oxidation numbers. We don't need the one. So the formula for aluminum cyanide, Al, and three cyanide ions. Okay, good, good. Hydronium phosphate, hydronium, H3O plus one. Uh, uh, oh, hydronium sulfate. I don't know what I said. Sulfate, SO4 minus two. So this gives one electron. This needs two electrons. So how do we make this happy? We make two of these, and we only need one of these. Okay? We can take away the oxidation numbers. And since there's only one sulfate ion, we don't need the one, and we don't need a parenthesis. So this is how hydronium sulfate would look, H3O two of those, which has six hydrogens and two oxygens. Again, that's why the parentheses is around that. And one sulfate molecule, okay? Hydronium sulfate. Calcium nitrite, okay? Calcium plus two. How do I know that? Calcium's in group 2A, wants to give two electrons away. Uh, nitrite, right? Nitrite, NO2 minus one, NO2 with a minus one. Calcium is giving two electrons. Nitrite needs two needs one electron, so we need two of these to make one of these happy. Okay, gives two electrons. Now this takes two electrons. Once again, take away the oxidation numbers. I leave the parenthesis because I have two nitrite uh, ions here. Okay, and that's four oxygens, two nitrogens, and you could take the one away. Magnesium nitride. Ah, I tried to trick you. Nitride. Okay. What does that mean? Nitride. Ide is the element, not the polyatomic. Okay. Ide is always the element. I, it, eight are the polyatomics. Ide. Okay. So magnesium plus two. Nitride. Nitrogen is minus three. So we need three of these and two of those. Three, that gives six electrons. This takes six electrons. I will erase the oxidation number, and that's the formula for magnesium nitride. Okie doke. Keep going. Potassium carbonate, okay? Potassium, group 1A is plus one. Carbonate is CO3, needs two electrons. So potassium is giving one electron. Carbonate needs two electrons. So it's going to take two potassiums for one carbonate. Okay. Once again, we can take away the oxidation numbers. And since I only need one carbonate ion, oops, I can erase that and take the one away. I have an eraser. And that's the formula for potassium carbonate. It's not that hard, so don't panic. Aluminum chromate. Well, we did a lot of aluminums. We know that's group 3A. Chromate. What's chromate? Didn't I write chromate? I think so. Yeah. CrO4 needs two electrons. So CrO4 needs two electrons. Okay. So this gives three electrons. Aluminum gives three electrons. Wants to be a plus three. It's a metal. This needs uh, 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 two electrons. So once again, we have this then would give six. And so we need three times minus two. So this gives six electrons. And this takes six electrons. Erase the, the oxidation numbers. And this would be the formula for aluminum chromate. And I want you to, I want you, uh, all you bio students to notice that uh, you don't have to memorize 8 million formulas. You learn the polyatomics, learn their charge, have a periodic table in front of you, and you can name thousands and thousands of compounds. Not memorize them, but understand the rules for putting them together, okay? And that's more powerful than just trying to remember a thousand formulas, okay? So let's keep going. So we did aluminum chromate, okay? Uh, rubidium sulfate. Rubidium, I think, is in group 1A. Rubidium. 
wants to give one electron away. Sulfate needs two electrons, SO4 minus two. So this gives one, the sulfate needs two. So one rubidium will not make sulfate happy. So you're gonna need two rubidiums for one sulfate. So now this two rubidiums give two electrons and the sulfate needs two electrons. So the formula, once again, take away the oxidation numbers. Since I only need one sulfate ion, it's not necessary to have the parentheses. And here you go, rubidium, oops, sulfate. Fantastic. Hydronium permanganate. Ah, hydronium H3O, right, plus one. Notice how I, I put parentheses around things, okay? H3O plus one, that's hydronium. Permanganate, MnO4. Put a parenthesis around there. That ion, so needs one electron. Hydronium gives one electron. Guess what? One hydronium will make one permanganate ion happy. So again, I will take away the oxidation numbers. And since there's one of each, do, 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 we can erase the parentheses. And there's my formula, H3O, MnO4. All right, hydronium permanganate has three hydrogens. One and four is five oxygens and one manganese atom, okay? Sodium chromate. Sodium, group 1A, so it's plus one. Chromate, don't I have chromate? I have chromate, CrO4, needs two electrons. Well, it's the same game. This gives one electron, this needs two electrons. So if I take two sodiums and one chromate, gives two electrons, takes two electrons, once again, we can erase the oxidation numbers, I can take this one away and take the parentheses away since there's only one chromate ion needed. So the formula for sodium chromate, Na2CrO4, sodium chromate. Okay, so the ideas behind all these ionic bonds are pretty easy. Either you use the periodic table or you learn those polyatomics and we put together number of electrons given has to equal the number of electrons taken. Okay. Not so bad. In the next lecture, we'll talk about uh, some of the B groups that we've been ignoring, the transition metals. And we'll talk about, um, um, instead of one atom giving an electron and another atom taking electrons, metals, non-metals, or polyatomics, giving and taking, where you have anions and cations, and thus two ions, and hence ionic bonds. Now we're gonna talk about two non-metals, not giving and taking, but sharing electrons, okay? So now we're gonna talk about uh, uh, molecules that share electrons. So we'll do that in the next video, okay? Be well, stay safe, ciao.